Let's go to KTVU's Jana Katsuyama. She's live in Marin at the Golden Gate Bridge. So, Jana, what's it like where you are right now? Well, Julie, earlier people could smell smoke up and down the coastline. Right now, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty windy out here. And so some of that is blowing some of that fresh air in. But if you take a look behind me, you can see this is the Golden Gate Bridge, the view from Marin. And you can see there's still some sort of haze, perhaps fog, perhaps still some of that smoke over here. Certainly those levels of red and orange are still prominent on the map. And many people saw this haze all over the Golden gate today. This was far from the usual Bay Area fog. A murky haze swept in Tuesday afternoon, covering the region in a layer of wildfire smoke, blown all the way down from wildfires raging in Northern California and Oregon. It hit really fast, like around 1.30 or 2 o'clock. It was not this bad, but about 3 o'clock, all of a sudden, it reminded me of the fires from a few years ago. Soccer fields, usually full, were empty. There was a game earlier today that was called off because of air quality. So they came out to do some training, but on the way here, we got the notification that all practices were canceled. The Bay Area Air Quality Management District issued an air quality advisory for Tuesday and Wednesday, warning that conditions would be unhealthy at times, but not quite at the level of a spare the air alert. It's not an official alert because the, the federal health standard is based on a 24 hour exposure, and we don't think that actually will be exceeded either today or tomorrow. The official EPA smoke Smoke and fire map showed the red unhealthy air zones in San Francisco, the East Bay, and lower part of the North Bay. Sonoma County issued a health advisory. And the weather was quite warm. The air quality was very poor. You could tell the smoke was in the air, and I noticed it. You could smell the fires. Some people wore masks, a protection against the smoke particles. On a day like this, I get short of breath, and um, I carry an inhaler with me. Uh, I work in one of the stores, and we normally have our doors open. We close the doors. This woman says she could see the particles on her car. Others say the air got better as evening winds swept through. The air quality in Petaluma when we left wasn't wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's definitely hazier here than it was when we left Petaluma. We are seeing some sort of short-term unhealthy air quality, so people really should take precautions, uh, you know, to protect their health. And people noticing that dramatic sunset caused by all the smoke in the air, beautiful but not good for your health. The Air Quality District tells me that they should be deciding sometime tomorrow midday whether to extend that uh, advisory through Thursday. They will be looking at the weather conditions and emergency dispatchers are telling people please do not call 911 if you smell the smoke, only if you see a plume of smoke or if you see flames. Julie. Yeah, it smells like one big campfire out there. Jana Katsuyama reporting live tonight near the Golden Gate Bridge. Thank you.